What up, Dole Fresh Nation? Uh, yeah, a little bit overdue. First off, I had a haircut. Yeah, I have had a haircut, so... Yes. And I am a personal Space Invader. Yeah, it's a running joke in college. Hi, Jim. <laughs> and you, Larry. And you, Dave. Dave, don't touch that. So, yeah. Um, this is pretty much just a simple update. Uh, for one, I would like to just simply say that... Uh, <laughs> I've done a little rearranging. Um... The previous videos, you'll know that whenever I've shown this area of my room, there's been a small pile of stuff by here. Yeah, there's normally a small pile of stuff here. Right here. Uh, now it's gone. Do you know where it went? Right there. Bingo! Check it. Giant flying fire truck and the giant fucking robot monkey. Along with a Gilda, a Cinder, a Mario, a Sylphamon, a Luigi, a big Mario, a Sailor Scout that I cannot identify, I think Chibi Moon, and a Yu Gi Oh! Hot Wheels. Along with some other stuff. Uh, you will also notice that I do have my library card right there. Yes, it's a Paris card. Who gives a shit? Um, uh, yeah. You guys, viewers, will notice something weird. I'm putting the camera at it right now, and it's not my ugly mug for once. Yeah. Him. I got two of him! Yes. That one is the one my dad bought me for 23 quid at Auto Assembly 2013. I also got a hold of the Sonic Bomber, Leo Prime, and Nemesis Breaker at the same convention. Uh, Nemesis Breaker was three quid, uh, Sonic Bomb was three quid, and the Lyo Prime, well, that uh, convoy, was um, eight quid. Well, it was never released in the UK, so it was ten quid at the start, but I managed to get it down a little bit. In fact, nothing at all to some way I've paid full prices for, I've always been haggling down. It's only one or two prices I've actually been paying full, like for that guy here. Him, I paid £12 for, and that was the label price. Problem was, he was missing those two little cannons right at the back. So, basically, without those, he couldn't form truck mode. Luckily, on the stall, literally across from it, in the other room, actually from in the same room, right across it, they had those two pieces. 250 so, yeah, actually pretty good. So I paid fourteen fifty for it all, which, to be honest, is cheap. Seriously. That goes for a lot of money on eBay. Seriously. And both of them are actually in pretty good condition. They're not missing anything big. Um, he's missing the Matrix, his gun, and the missiles. But it doesn't matter because I've got the gun, the matrix, and the missiles for him. Well, what I'll do is resin cast the missiles and the matrix. I'll also be making a second matrix just for him because I want it to be accurate, so I want him to have a blue gem gold casing, because the one he comes with is gold gem silver casing, so inaccurate as hell, even towards the show. So yeah, and 
Yeah, he's going to be turned into Gao Gaigar, because seriously, what the fuck do you see when you look at this? Yeah, Gao Gaigar much. Uh, please excuse the fighter pod. Uh, that is going to be the Zonda core. Uh, I was actually thinking about getting a second one to actually do two cores, because funnily enough, the little post on it actually pegs into the cannons, so I could actually do a full charge, which is actually how it looks like in the show. So, yeah, I could actually do that. Um, yeah, I've got plans for him. Uh, I've, I've highlighted them all in my custom video, which I will link in the description, or put a link on the screen for you. Either way. Um, Eagle Eye viewers will also notice that there's an anomaly again. I'm pointing at it once more. Look here, and look there. I've got him twice! I've got two fucking robot monkeys. Well, actually, that's a lie. I've got three fucking robot monkeys, because I've got two optimal optimuses, and I've got the robot monkey right there. Yeah, you can sort of see in the kind of goldish colour, just behind the arm, right there. Yeah, you can sort of see it. Yeah, that is the deluxe version. Or, as it would be called, basic class now, because that figure is horribly basic. <laughs> now, uh, this video is not really all about that. Uh, also, just so you know, all the stuff that was on there is now on my bed, so... It's all by there. So, yeah. Well, I had to find somewhere for it all. Um, right here, I've got a card binder. Funny enough, it is a Jetix card binder. Seriously, Jetix. Oh! I was annoyed that Disney took Fox Kids, but they gave us Jetix. In the US, it was just a simple cartoon block. In the UK, it was a full-on fucking channel. 24-7. Well, actually, it started up at uh, 3 a.m. and ended at 12. So, yeah. It was not Disney. No, no, completely different team. So, yeah. Uh, while back in primary... Uh, Aaron Thomas was selling off a whole bunch of these that he obtained somehow. He was selling for two quid each, so yeah. I bought one. It's Jetix. <laughs> My friend Zoe is envious of this. Um, it holds all of my Gumbarai cards. It holds the 10 cards that came with the Decker driver and all the scans I have. So, yeah, it has... Kuga, Agito, Ryuki... Fize, Blade, Hibiki... Kabuto, Kabuto, Deno, and Kiva... And... Decayed. And all the rest are literally just scans. So, yeah, that's my ride booker. This is my ride booker. If you know what the ride booker is, then please say you don't actually have one, because seriously, they're shit. Sure, you can fix them by building one. But it's shit. So yeah, that's my ride booker. Um, now on a completely different end of the spectrum. Power Rangers trading cards. In other words, the action card game. 
piece. Uh, just so you know, that that those are all the action cards I have. I'm not joking. This is all I have because here's the thing: in the UK, the action card game never happened. No, no. Card packs? Nope. Deck boxes? Nope. Sure. Argos had it in the listings on the website. Never advertised it in the shop. There was no way to get the cards except for buying the toys, and no parent would buy all those toys. Half of them were clones of each other. Heck, the only way to get a good majority of the cards, which was only 10, was to buy them all for and that's what I did. 16 quid. Even though it was 30 quid when it came out, I waited a year. Got it for 16. It's fully functioning. The only problem I have with it, no on and off switch. Seriously, Bandai, come on! The 10 soda had an off switch, and it had better sounds. But yeah, the action card game? Yeah, it, it never happened here. The cards I do have with me right now are Gal Red or Wild Force Red, Geki Red or Jungle Fury Red, Magi Red, Mystic Force Red, Decker Red, SPD Red Ranger, Hurricane Red. Ninja Storm Red. I'm not even going to say the English name for this because it does not worth. It's not worth it. Go say Red. I'm not saying the English name of that. I am not saying it, and I mean it. Even if I got the Gokaija card, I would not say it. Uh, I have uh, Sword Vent. Uh, Contact Vent, uh, Add Event, and Final Vent. Notice I'm using Ryuki terminology for that. Yeah, you'll understand why. I don't like these cards. I really don't. I don't like Mega Force. Who did? But, yeah, um,. That was pretty much the only way to actually get the cards, getting the warfare. That's pretty much it. Um, I have a stack of card scans. Literally, I have uh, all of these. Literally, it's all scans for the cards. So, yeah, I have those, so I have every card. It does also mean I can custom make cards, because seriously, they made a Chubo card. <sighs> sure, he was an intelligent villain in the back in the Sentai, but he's an idiot in the Power Rangers version. Now, my question is, why would you make a card of that and yet not make a card of Zenaku? I am being genuinely serious here right now. Zenaku is one of the reasons people watched Wild Force. Wild Force was an amazing show. It really was. Brilliantly, brilliantly well written. Zenaku was one of the reasons I watched it. Because he was a fucking awesome beast. Seriously. Why do you think he's my screensaver? No, li literally, uh, my screensaver? Is that? That's my screensaver. Zenaku. Yeah, literally. That's my screensaver. Zenaku. Just two pictures of you. Sure, they're just screencasts from another show that I got off Google. But, hell. <laughs> It was a few years ago that I put it there and I'm keeping it there. 
It's better than the stock images I had. Literally, I had to delete that folder. It was a pain in the ass. Um, yeah. But seriously, why would you make a Chubo card and yet not a Zenaku? It would be more logical to make that. They made a Luthor. Seriously? Ugh. They even made a Loogie card. A Loogie. I'll let that sink in. A Loogie. Yeah. Stupid. So, yeah. That's my Gamberide. And my Daisos. Well, action card game. Uh, now, on to halls of sorts. Yeah, there's nothing really to talk about in halls except for, well, this. Yeah. This is my handheld collection. I have my original clear Game Boy Advance. I have my DS Lite. I have an original Game Boy. I have a Game Boy SP. I have a Game Boy Color. And I have the 2DS. I also have a purple SP, a blue SP, and a silver advance. And here's the thing. This is a Gamester case along with this one. And that's a Mario game case. Um, yeah, that is the entirety of my console collection. I got three Game Boy Advances, two SPs, two types of DS, and two types of original Game Boy. I've got the original Game Boy and the color. Now, all of them are functioning. The reason why I have two Game Boy Advances and two SPs is uh, my original clear one has been on the fritz lately. Well, actually, ever since I had it. Actually, quite a few years ago, uh, you know how it works. You always just do hit the side of the console to actually do it what you wanted. Yeah, I did that a lot. A lot. So the electronics got jostled. Um, yeah. <laughs> the reason why I have the purple one is because, well, up to getting that, my clear one was dead. Until... I found out there was a switch on the inside that sometimes got locked in place when they put a cartridge in, so it wouldn't read them. So I did a little test and put a screwdriver, a small screwdriver, to touch the switch, push it in, and it worked. So, yeah. That's why I have the purple one. Uh, it is just so I have a spare, just in case my clear one bites the dust. Basically, what I will be doing is transplanting the clear shell onto the purple's body, because I want to reincarnate it. I don't want to just have a new advance. I want to have my original. I'm an asshole that way. Um, the reason why I have three of them is because, well... This one is my sister's, even though technically she's given it to me. It is, actually, all three of them are AGB001, so yeah, AGB001, even though it's covered by tape, you can still sort of see it, AGB001, and this one, yep, AGB. 001. So, yeah, all three of them are AGB001. Uh, no battery cover, no battery cover. So, yeah, I do have the battery cover for the clear one, it's just that it's missing. 
Also, this one does have the battery cover. <laughs> so yeah. Um, that's that. Uh, my sister had two games. Uh, this, which is, well, it has no sticker on it, but we know what game it was. It's an official game, because, well, Nintendo. Now, here's the thing. The way you tell a fake cartridge like these is if it just has Game Boy on it or nothing at all. The official ones actually did have Nintendo stamped on them. So, yeah, that's how you told the original. And she had this. Which was an absolutely horrible game. The weird thing is... It's a Game Boy Color cartridge. That's the weird thing. Because Game Boy Color cartridges normally had the clear shells. This one's black. So, yeah. That's the weird part. So, yeah, it's weird. It really is weird. Um, I have the, clear, the original Game Boy. Uh, two rows of pixels on the screen are broken. One here and one here. So it's broken there. Um, it has the battery cover. Here. It takes four batteries. Luckily enough... I have plenty. Yeah, I've got plenty by there on my bed. <laughs> Literally under all that pile, I've got plenty. So yeah, fully functioning. Also, um, right here, Well done, you nutter. You almost lost it. Yeah, it is an external outport. I never knew these existed. I never knew this little piece existed until I had this. My mum found it in a charity shop. So yeah, it just fits over the furthest one to the top. And it just covers it. So yeah, just covers it up. So yeah, I never knew that existed. There must be a link cable of sorts. So yeah, it's got volume here, contrast over here, and the headphone port. It's got the uh, light and on-off switch and lock mechanism. Actually, no, that's a AC adapter, and that's the headphone port. <laughs> I've not used this thing for such a long time. It feels really good in the hand. The only issue with it, contrast. And yes, I do know about the hardship of having to have this in the right light condition. I have a fucking Game Boy Advance. I know the hardship. I really do. Seriously, having to have the street lights angle just right to be able to move a few pixels. I know that trouble. I really do. I really know that trouble. By here, I have the Game Boy Color. Uh, it does not have the back cover, but it did come with a rechargeable battery pack. I just don't have the charger for said battery pack. <laughs> so yeah, it has a bandolier slot. It has an IR sensor, which to be honest, I'm not really sure how that works because technically they still use link cable. It's got a volume control light in the corner and came slot it's also got an AC adapter and headphone port so yeah this one I don't touch as much because I keep it in the case but yeah it's quite nice in the hands and it's a nice purple so yeah so I've got the oh yeah the color determines which ones you got it's the American way of spelling color so Technically, in the UK, there would be a U in it. So, eh. So, there'd be another colour. I think that one would be pink. Because they did release a pink one. Next, I have my Game Boy Advance SP. Which. Hmm. 
functions. Um, inside it is actually a knockoff cartridge because it's got Batman Forever on it. <laughs> Here's the funny part. Um, if you look closely at it, you'll see Power Rangers. Yes, I can play Power Rangers on this. I've also got Batman Forever, Jurassic Park, Super Mario Land. Actually, there's about five different versions of Mario on here. It's got 21 games on here. Batman Returns, Jungle Mario, Alleyway, Super Hammer, Ghost House, Space Fire. Space Fire is just a weird game, it really is. But yeah, it's a clone cartridge, what do you expect? Um, it's an AGS-001, so it's a front light. To be honest, I don't care. As long as I can play my games, I don't give a shit. So yeah, it is an AGS-001. This one used to be my friend Emlyn's. I told him that at the time I needed a Game Boy Advance. Uh, he gave me his. Problem was, it was an SP. I was perfectly fine with it because, well, it was the Sapphire Blue. It's not the Sapphire one from the Pokemon Special Edition Pack. Mainly because if it were, it would have either Kyogre or Groudon printed onto it. I'm not sure which one they put onto it because I've never actually seen one before. Since I'm still trying to figure out about the rumoured emerald one. Because. Mm. But yeah, it does have a chip in it. Um, it's a fake cartridge. Yeah, I know it's a fake cartridge because seriously, look at that. That is horribly fake. It's clear blue. <laughs> I know how to identify cartridges. Also, this has a horrible bend in it. So I'm using the fake one. I'm trying to warp it back into shape. Had it for about half a year now. So, yeah. It is functional, it's just that battery life isn't the best. Uh, the game pack doesn't save, so yeah, no point. It never saves. But it was actually rather fun. I might actually try and get an emulator for that one, because I only got to stage two of the evolution, I never actually got to the third stage. So, yeah. Um, my original DS. What my original DS liked. I've got one of the uh, mechanical styluses in here. I do actually have the original stylus. Actually, uh, is that the right stylus? No, it's not the right stylus. It's for the 2DS. Oh, no. No, I don't have the original stylus for this thing. Oh well. So yeah. <laughs> uh, f screens are perfectly fine, except for this one's got a small scratch on it. Turns on. Signature beep. And... It does have a game cartridge into it. It just doesn't register at the moment. It is Platinum. I got that on release. <laughs> Seriously. I got that on release and Giratine is on here. So, yeah. Got Platinum. Also, my name on here is Wool Kaiser. Oh my word, look at that. It's so smooth. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, this thing is saying it is Saturday the 16th of the 5th, which to be honest is pretty much close. Yeah, it's close. It's... yeah. It's, uh, so yeah. And funnily enough, it's actually very close to the time, but not quite. Not quite. <laughs> so yeah. I know for a fact it's not quite right. So, yeah, that is my Game Boy Light, what, <laughs> DS Light. Even though technically the original name for the old version of this is called the City Boy. Also, it does have the uh, cover. I don't know why, but it has a circuit board in there. So, yeah. 
why would they put a circuit board in there? They didn't really need to. So why put it in there? But yeah, it just clips in there. You can't play uh, GameCube. You can't play Game Boy Color games on this thing, unfortunately. Uh, this thing's model number is USG001. You're noticing a pattern here. They're all 001. <laughs> Literally, uh, this one. CGB001. DMG01. Well, they didn't have the double O, so they just put one O. <laughs> so, yeah. And now for this hunk of junk. Yes, it's hunk of junk. This thing is horrible. Seriously, there's already a crack and I've only owned this thing for a year. I'm using extending stylus, so yeah, it is a compacting type. So it extends and shrinks. So yeah, I've got the SD card into it. So yeah, actually mine doesn't load unless it has the SD in it. So yeah, what I've got on this thing, well, there's nothing in the cartridge. In fact, I don't actually play games on this anymore. I've not touched Pokemon X for quite some while. No, I do not have Aurus. I don't want those. They are horrible. Ugh. What I've got on here is all the basic stuff. I've got the anime channel, Shuffle, the YouTube app. I've got the me stuff. And I've got the uh, letterbox thing. I've also got the camera and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, no, I will not be doing playthroughs of any games on this thing due to the fact this does not have a flash card in it. There's, uh, there's no way of screen capping on this. There really isn't. So I'm not even going to bother. So, yeah. That's pretty much my game console collection at the moment for the Nintendo handheld. I am missing a few. I am missing the... Game Boy Pocket and the Game Boy Light Pocket. I am missing the Game Boy Advance Micro. I do want to get a hold of an AGS 101 just so I can actually physically compare the two. Well, that one's got two brightness settings, so eh. I just want to get one of those. Uh, regrettably, I will have to get a hold of a DSR. I also do need to get a hold of the original DS. Well, my mum has one, but I need one. And I may have to get a hold of the 3DS. I don't want to get the DSi or the 3DS, but since I've got the 2DS, I kind of have to. I kind of have to. I don't want to, but I have to. They're horrible. The whole function of DS was dual system. Sure, its official name was dual screen, but its secondary name was dual system due to the fact the power pack. You could play the Game Boy game packs. Yeah, the DS at the time was a gimmick. They designed it so it was a third leg. So they still made it so you could play your Game Boy games. Your Game Boy Advance games, that is. It was a huge hit, so they continued making it and keeping it doing that. Until the DSi. And then shit happened. So, yeah. DSi was not popular. Now, onto something more fun. I'm bringing back Twinkie Tan! This is the last Twinkie, and I've been saving it. Even though I've got a box in there. So, yeah, you guys all know the drill by now. It's Twinkie time. Grab your Twinkies. Pause the video now. Here's your chance. Too late. You lost your chance. Three, two, one.
I'm Matt, what's Kinky Time? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you gotta love Twinkies. No matter what, they do not go off. Literally, I've been saving that one for about two months. <laughs> it doesn't go off, it really doesn't. Actually, since before Christmas, I've been saving that, and it, it doesn't go off, it really doesn't. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty much all of hauls. Well, other than 3D models, but I don't think those class. <laughs> but, yeah, I'll just go over what I've recently obtained. Um, a short while ago, uh, shortly before Christmas, I found about a Tumblr uh, model page for MMD. I instantly started following it. I've obtained quite a few good models from there. Uh, over the course of the time, I've obtained uh, Silty from DRR. I've obtained Drossel from Fireball. We took the bat model for nearly a year. Seriously. Um, I got uh, Kuro Sensei. Yeah, I got Kuro Sensei. That was my most recent download from them. So yeah, I have the fucking Kurosense. Sue me. I dare you, sue me. Um, other models I've obtained recently would be uh, from Models Resource. I've obtained the Double O Riser and uh, Nodley. Actually, no, uh, Virtue. Uh, well, here's the thing, I've been looking for an Exium model for quite some time. I finally obtained about three different versions. <laughs> I've obtained a broken one, I've got a full-size one, and I've got an SD one. So, yeah, I've got a few different versions. I've also got the Austrias, but I want them in PMD format, not PMX, but I can't convert them because the mesh in the head just breaks apart and I can't edit the heads. I don't know how to use BMX. I can convert the weapons just fine. Literally, they convert. They convert just fine. It's just that the model itself. I want to be able to work with the Austria so I can edit it and model it so I can actually make my rendition of the Zoid Austria that I'm planning. I'm planning on doing a Zoid custom of Austria, but I need to actually have an Austria and a Liger unit. I don't know if I'm going to use Liger Zero. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the Zero Liger or the Blade Liger or even the Shield Liger. I really don't know. I'd like to use either the Blade Liger or the Shield Liger because those are wonderful to use. But I'm not sure. Um, let me think, let me think. The Riser has the... It's the double O Gundam, so it's the base unit and it's got the riser, so I can simply just edit that. Uh, yeah. Uh, they've got the textures, even though they're a little bit grainy. Uh, I think they're from a DS game, or from an old uh, Wii game, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're from an English version of a Gundam game, so yeah. Uh, the textures are more cartoony, so they kind of work, but they don't. I will be touching them up. Uh, hopefully I will be actually able to rig them. If they're in a weird pose, then I'll be needing to completely re-edit them. Completely. Uh, some parts I might just break apart, rebuild and recolor. So yeah, that'll be fine. Um, what else is there to talk about? Mm. Still working on Gal Gygar. Still working on Rusa. I, I, I want to get Rusa finished. I really do want to get that model finished. Then, I can actually do a funny pick with her and Kura Sensei. Yeah. That'll be fun. That will be fun. So, yeah. I've also got Trypticon, which I may have to just get someone to retexture. Or try and obtain a work in progress model that someone's been working on. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Susie, I cannot remap that guy. So much texture mapping. <laughs> I'll have to ask if Blaze Raptor could help. Or Valfawin, I'm not sure. 
I will have to ask the DM, see if he can figure it out, so yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, what else is there? Uh, there's the Black Lotus, which I'm trying to work on. Uh, I've coloured her all black, so I will need to recolour her purple and black and rig her up. It was an OBJ model. All the textures put, all the textures were gone. Actually, there were no textures to begin with. It was just a coloured model. Um, every individual bit is a texture, or actually, is a mesh. So colouring her will be rather easily because her primary colours are black and purple. So easy, just colour that. And I'm going to be using her as a base for Rin Rin. So yeah, all I need to do is just build up a head for Berserk form. Uh, combine that with DX's normal head and then actually build up slightly to round, more round it out and then I can use that for Rin Rin. So yeah, that will be fun because Rin Rin is basically gun form but with swords and two giant fucking shoulder cannons. Um, nothing else really to go with that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, other than Assassination Classroom, which is on Chapter 3. Assassination Classroom is on... Let's see. Chapter 13. Page 3. So, yeah. Um, let's just say a few more characters are going to be joining the roster. Um, Dix's parents... They're joining in. Uh, Merloch has been introduced. Well, in this chapter now, she's been introduced. Uh, <laughs> and the real reason why Rusa has been causing trouble. Yeah. The real reason why Rusa has been labelled as the Earth Destroyer now, that's going to be explained soon. The real reason. But I'm not telling you now. No, no. Uh, I have recently completed a bit of artwork for her, so go to my gallery. Go to my gallery there. Uh, in the gallery, it'll pop up as a black image. Just click on it, you'll see the line art for uh, Rusa. It's a PNG format, so I'm not sure what's up with it. I'll have to convert it to JPEG at some point. I don't know. So, yeah, enjoy that. Uh, a lot of editing went into that. A lot of work. She's still a bit bulky. She needs to be a bit thinner in the waist and more wider in the hips. She's a big freaking kangaroo. What do you expect? I will also be creating a few more kangaroo characters. What do you expect? So, yeah. Um, I don't really have anything more to talk about, so, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, once again, please read the stories that I've got up so far, six chapters, so please continue reading that. Um, look for my gallery, comment on the artwork, stuff like that, and tell me what you think about it. So, yeah. And also, if you have any way of helping me with a few of my dilemmas that I've mentioned in past videos and journals, please, do give me some answers, seriously. Give me some good answers. So, yeah, that is pretty much the end of that, and I shall bid you adieu. So, peace in the streets. Bye.